the Stormy Strike here, and I cannot believe just the other day I turned 21. I I just can't believe how quickly time's going by and how much of like an adult I am now. Although I still don't even feel like an adult really. I still am a kid at heart for sure. So this is all the fun stuff I got for my birthday this year. So I got kind of a bunch of different random stuff, like a, b a bunch of different stuff of like different things that I like, if that makes any sense. I don't know, but I got a, fun, a lot of fun stuff here, and I'm going to go through and show you guys everything. So I'm going to first start over here with my Dolphin Project stuff I ordered. So I've been wanting stuff from the Dolphin Project for uh, Rico Berry's Dolphin Project. I've been wanting stuff from there for a while, and I just kind of never got around to doing it, or like buying some things from it. So I got some really cool stuff for my birthday from there. If you like dolphins, I highly, ch I highly recommend checking out their, uh, their website and learning about everything about dolphin, protecting dolphins, and all of that. So I'm going to put a link down in the description. You can check that if you, out if you want. So I got this really neat Dolphin Project t-shirt with like the old style logo. Super duper cool. I absolutely just love this. I can't wait to wear it. I got a little, little cute bracelet that has a little whale tail on it. A little whale tail charm on it, which I think is really cute. And I actually have a necklace that uh, matches this too. And then I got a Rico Berry's Dolphin Project Square Patch. Really neat. I've been like weirdly into patches lately. So I've been buying like kind of a bunch of patches here and there to sew onto things. And then I also got a little, a little button. A little Dolphin Project button. There it is. And then lastly here is a whale messenger bag that rolls up into this little thing. And because of that, I'm not going to unroll it to show like what it looks like. But it's a really cool like big canvas messenger bag thing. So I'm really, really excited about having this stuff because, like I said, I've been kind of wanting it for a while. Moving on, we shall go, I guess, over to here. So I've mentioned in a vlog, which I'm going to post at the end of this video, too, for you to check out if you haven't seen it already. But I have been going to Disneyland a whole lot more <laughs> lately because I just got a pass, I think, two months ago now. But, like, in the two months I've had my pass, I've already went to Disneyland, like, ten times, I believe. Like, I just... I'm just, I just really love going to Disneyland again now. I miss uh, going like when I was a kid and stuff. So that's just been super awesome. And I'm sorry if I sound like one of those people now that's just like, oh, I went to Disneyland the other day. No big deal. But yeah, I've like strangely turned into one of those people without meaning to. But yeah, I just, uh, Disneyland's so fun. Anyway, things I got at Disneyland include this super duper cute stitch hat for my birthday. And I just kind of got this on a whim because I thought it was so darn cute. I just had to get it. It's so cute and soft. It's super soft. So I thought that was adorable. I don't normally get these kinds of things, but this shirt was a part of the AP Days pass holder uh, for winter 2017 thing. Normally I do not buy buy things like this, like shirts like this new from places, I, if that makes sense. But this one was an exception because I just love the designs on it. I think just this whole design on it is super cool. I love the Main Street Electrical Light Parade. Like these designs they did are just so good. I just love, love, love this artwork. And so I, I just had to get this shirt. One of the few things I just had to, had to get. It's just, ugh, I love it. So that is another thing I got for my birthday. And then another thing from the... Disneyland thing is this little bottle topper thing. It's like a thing you put on your water bottle and then it also has a little straw that goes on it. But it's this cute little turtle. Like it's just exactly like one of the parade floats and it actually lights up. You won't be really able to see it too well, but oh, there we go. You can kind of see that. So yeah, it lights up and does different colors and it's so like random, but I just really love this little thing. I think it's so fun. So there's that. And then kind of with the Disney theme still here, this actually um, did not come from Disneyland. But I, I actually used to collect Cars stuff when it first came out. When Cars first came out, when the movie first came out, I kind of went a little crazy and got all kinds of car stuff because I just love the movie. I still love the movie and I still have my collection somewhere. It's Most of it's like packed away right now though. And I haven't bought anything for like any Cars stuff in a really long time. But I saw this, and I just, oh my gosh, I don't know why. I love this, though. The Dynaco sh uh, Showgirl, I just love it for some reason. It's just one of the weird things where I was like, I have to have that. 
And I have to add this to my cars collection, which I'm going to show you guys one day whenever I get it all like figured out and displayed. You'll get to see my cool cars stuff that I have. But yeah, there's that. And then the last kind of Disney related thing here is these cute little Disney uh, Disney figures of Mickey, Minnie, uh, Goofy, and Donald. So I actually, my friends were so, so awesome. They surprised me with a cake and balloons during school on um, before my birthday and I was just so blown away and surprised by it and oh my gosh like I was just I'm gonna start crying because it was just it was just so awesome and so my friend actually decorated the cake and he did it in a Disney style a Disney theme for me and so we had these little figures on there and so I decided to put, add these to the little haul video because they're cute little little Disneyland figures from my cake and I thought that was cool so there is that then let's move on, I guess, to these guys up here. So the big snake in the back is, well, I'm trying to downsize my stuffed animal collection because it is insanely big, but I, oh my gosh, it's a two-headed snake, guys. I can't pass up a two-headed snake. So yeah, I just, I really wanted, wanted this two-headed snake because it has two heads and like, seriously, how awesome is that? So, that's another fun thing I got for my birthday. And these guys, oh my goodness, little How to Train Your Dragon things that I think just recently came out. But, oh my gosh, I feel so bad that I haven't watched How to Train Your Dragon in a while. So I can't remember if this guy's name is Cloud Jumper or Cloud something else. I think it's Cloud Jumper though. He is like one of my favorite dragons. I think he's so cute. So, there he is in a little plushy form, and he's just so adorable, and I love his little double wings. He's like four wings, so that's pretty cool. He has a little four wings, and he's just super cute. And then, of course, here is the always lovable, popular Toothless, who is not staying when I want him to stay. So, oh my gosh, he is so cute and soft and just adorable. Look at that face. Like, this is a really, really nice little plushie of him. I have seen some not-so-good plushies. I've actually had some of the not-so-good uh, toothless plushies in the past. But this one is really nicely done and really cute. So I just... Oh, he's so cute. I love him. So there's those two guys. And then moving down here... Actually, let's go to the other dragon thing. So another dragon thing here is my mom surprised me with this little Schleich dragon she had found. And I think I have this one already, but I am so happy to have more than one. Because I think this dragon is super cool. Classic, classic looking Celtic dragon. It's just super cool. Oh my gosh, it's really awesome. I really love this one. This one is a little bit more blue than the one I have, I think, too. Like, the color is different from the one that I already have. That makes sense. And then, speaking of Schleich, we will go down to this Schleich cheetah. Not really sure why I wanted this, but... Yeah, I just, I don't know. I thought it was cute. I've been kind of collecting the Schleich animals a little bit more and stuff. Not just the dinosaurs or horses or whatever else. So, yeah, I don't know. This cheetah was just really, really pretty. Really well done. Like, super detailed. Look at all those spots. Lots and lots of spots. Super crazy spots. So there's that little, little, little thing for my Schleich collection. Then this guy. Oh my gosh, it's a dinosaur! So this is a Jurassic World hybrid Spinosaurus. So this is one of the new, is this like Wave 2? I think this is the Wave 2 of Jurassic World toys. I am not a huge fan of the Jurassic World toys. I have the Mosasaur and the Indominus Rex uh, Jurassic World toys. But some of the other dinosaurs I'm just not really a fan of. I just, they're not super great. I did not actually care for the original regular colored Spino either. But this one I do like. I love the bright, vibrant blue. There's like a shimmery purple, metallic purple going on. Even metallic like gold color going on. And those stripes. I don't know. He's just really cool. His colors are super wild and crazy. And he kind of reminds me of... Uh, what are they called? I can't remember what the, what the line of, but there was a line of Jurassic, uh, Jurassic Park 3 toys that were in super crazy colors. I think they were called like Chaos Theory. Chaos Theory was the theory, series of it or something. I don't know. But this guy reminds me of the, that series of toys, and so I thought he was really cool. And he, like, he moves and his jaw opens and all that fun stuff. So I thought he was cool, and so, yeah, oh, he's cool. I really like him. One of the few Jurassic World toys that I actually really like. 
And then uh, before I get on to kind of the grand finale, it's going to be this girl. But this actually is not a part of my birthday haul. This guy or gal or whatever is just a funny little horse I found the other day for a dollar fifty. So I mean, a buck fifty, you can't, you can't, you know, like you can't pass that up, can you? So he's super cute. Just a little. I think it's Heartland. It doesn't actually have any markings on it, though. I'm not sure. It's got a little S. I'm not sure if that's for the Heartlands or not. I'm not very familiar with Heartlands. I do have a few Heartlands in my collection, but I do not have many. And, I, yeah, I'm not super familiar with them. Whatever this guy is, though, I absolutely love him. His pose is so sassy. Like, look at that pose. He's, like, strutting his stuff. I love the tail on this one. Like, his tail is just super cool for some reason. Like, he reminds me of a hackney pony. I don't know, I really like him. He's super cute. So I just wanted to add that into this video as well. And then, almost lastly here, is... I did not really originally plan on kind of having these for my birthday, but then my dad bought them for me. So these are new riding gloves, because my old riding gloves are kind of falling apart, and like, after I wear them, I have like black, black from the lining of the gloves, like all over my hands. It's really gross. So... I got new riding gloves, and these are super adorable. I love the purple. Purple's my favorite color. And they got little horses on them. I mean, that's just so awesome. They're super, super nice. Like, ugh, they're super, super comfortable. I am so excited about these. I can't wait to start using them. So there's some fun new riding gloves. And then last, but definitely not least, is this gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Oh my gosh. So I've been wanting, uh, I don't even know if I should try to pronounce her name, uh, Hewin, 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 maybe that's how you say it? I'm really sorry for butchering her name probably, but I wanted this girl ever since she came out because I, Conga Forever Siege, I have the entire complete Conga so far, a Forever Siege since not many of them have come out. But I have the Premier Club uh, Forever Siege, I have the Glossy and Matte Briarfest Special Runs, of Namid, and so I have the three <laughs> complete conga right now. And once I saw this girl was coming, I knew I had to get her too. And I also have to get Moon Dance when she comes out. And so I will continue to have a complete Forever Siege conga. I don't know why I find that like very exciting for me, but I don't have like a complete conga of any other molds. So, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this girl, so gorgeous. Uh, I got her from my tax shop. My dad paid for her. I could choose between a lighter version. They had only two. They had this one and then a lighter version. This one was a bit darker version, and I went ahead with the darker ver darker version here because I think she's... I don't know. I just really like the darker version, although I will probably end up getting multiples of this one. She is just... Oh my gosh, guys. She is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love her, love her, love her. She has a lot of dapples. She is a very pretty shade of gray. Just gorgeous. I love her face. She's so cute. I know not many people like this mold, but I just adore this mold. I think it's so cute and sassy. It is just ah, amazing. So I'm very excited about her. And if you guys are interested, I might do a unboxing and review of her later because that's why I haven't taken her out of the box yet because I thought I might do an unboxing video of her later. But yeah, I just love her. She is gorgeous. So I guess uh, that's all then for for the stuff I got. I will try to get out as many videos as I can. I will say right now things are a little crazy between trying to get YouTube videos up and all the stuff I have going on at school. I am currently have three different film, student films I am like helping work on basically and then I'm probably gonna end up like doing one or two more that I'm gonna be helping on and I'm currently writing a 30-page script right now for one of my classes. And just a lot is going on. So I'm trying my best, though, to get videos and things out as much as I can. But please be aware that if I am slacking on doing, like, Star Stable videos or things on Briarfest or even Spirit Riding Free, I'm trying to get that stuff out when I can, but I'm just got a lot going on right now. So, I believe that is all I have to tell you guys for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you guys for uh, some of you who wish me happy birthday. Thank you again. And to all of you, thank you so much for your love and support. I couldn't be where I am right now if it wasn't for you guys. You guys are super duper awesome. I love you guys. 
So uh, I guess that that's it. That's it. If you want to watch, I have a video of what I got for last year for my birthday. I will have a video of that uh, somewhere here. And then I also have a video of my one of my most recent vlogs if you want to watch that. And I talk a little bit about Disneyland then too, I think. So if you want to watch those two videos, they'll be on the screen. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I hope you all have a super duper awesome day. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye everyone!